YouTube. We're back in the garage. We're working on the 325i MTEC 1 and the M20 B25 engine. I wanted to paint my rocker cover, so I've taken that off and I thought at the same time I'm going to adjust the valve clearances. They were all too tight. I think the previous owner tried to reduce some of the ticking noise by, by taking these down to 0.2 millimeters. And so I've readjusted them all to 0.25, which is a factory spec. Hopefully it doesn't make it too much louder. But the main thing uh, I wanted to show you uh, that I thought some other videos were lacking on YouTube was uh, top dead center, how to find it. And it's, it's relatively easy. You don't need to jack your car up. So you're going to want to get some kind of wrench or ratchet on can we see there on the front of the crankshaft i've got on here a what is this this is a 22 focus there 22 this is a ratcheting wrench so this makes things easy uh if you can't fit a wrench in there you could just put a, a box end on there and, and move it but once you put this down on that on that no, oh, where is it? Here, 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 here. Just get it past the fan there. Move that fan. Move that fan. Okay, and once you've got your spark plugs out, oh, we want we want that on the other way because we want to go clockwise. So once you've got your six spark plugs out down here, uh, and you're in neutral. This is going to be super, super easy to turn over, okay? So, top dead center is not an exact place on the camshaft. I mean, it is, but really what you need is where these valves are, are fully closed. Fully closed. Sorry. So, although top dead center is when the cam lobe is pointing straight downwards, there's a whole area of the cam where um, it's it's having the same actuation effect on these rockers and anywhere on that on that will work so if you watch here while I turn this the crankshaft with my hand you'll see these rockers move and you'll see that only a couple of them move that's because a lot of the rockers are actually already ready for adjustment and so Top dead center is not that precise of a place to be. Now the firing order, I think, from memory is one, five, three. So you're gonna see the cam lobe here come up and move this exhaust valve on cylinder one. And you'll see it here. There's the lobe, it's moving. Okay, now the valve is gonna close. Okay, now anywhere from here, now we're sitting on the flat part of the cam. So anywhere from here, we can adjust this, this eccentric on this valve. Okay. So you'll watch here, look, I'll keep twisting. This valve won't move anymore. Okay, so we can, once this is down low, we can then undo our locking nut, move our eccentric with our feeler gauge in there, and adjust this, okay? So don't be afraid that you're not going to be in exactly the right spot. Now, the way that I adjust these is I, I loosen this off, I pull the eccentric up using a little pick from this little... Hole. Let me zoom in here. From that little hole there, rotate it upwards. Put my feeler gauge in. Then I I push down on this so that I'm like squashing the feeler gauge. And then I tighten up my my locking nut there. And then I just I jiggle the feeler gauge around, make sure it's kind of like gripping it quite nicely, but I can still move it. And then when, once I'm happy, then I'll apply my 10 newton meters. Now, you can't actually get a torque wrench in here, so um, 10 newton meters is, if you think about it, that's one kilogram at one meter. So if your little wrench is only 
10 to 15 centimeters, then that's like eight or nine kilograms of force or 20 pounds you're applying with your hand at the end of a 10, 10 centimeter wrench. 10 centimeters is, how many inches is that? Four inches? Four inches. Yeah, there you go. So um, I hope that helped. I hope that helped somebody think that this isn't quite the worrying job that it is. That it is. Um, this cover comes off in like 10 minutes and goes on uh, about the same speed. Check out my other video of um, about replacing these plugs down here. Um, you really need to do that. So when you order this gasket, do not put your old gasket. New gasket, new rubber plugs, these are cheap, this is cheap. Clean this up, make sure it's all nice when you put it back, and then follow it, follow the talking sequence to put this back on. I'll see if I can find it over here in my bending manual. Okay, here you go, here is the, um, the tightening sequence for your valve cover. And where is the... Fifteen Newton meters. Don't forget to retract the breather hose. Okay. See you later.